Girl Power here at the Park Theater. We have Rosie and the Riveters back to Winnipeg. I've got Allison, Alexis, Taylor, and Faraday. Well, you girls, uh, you rocked it at the Winnipeg Folk Festival, so we decided to bring you back <laughs> December, snow, and sleet, and rain. But it's all fun, right? We love Winnipeg. Rain, <laughs> shine, snow, or sleet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This group is so dynamic. First of all, the outfits are incredible. So again, that's part of the whole group feeling, Allison. It is. It's something that we really enjoy. We take it pretty seriously, but we also like to have a lot of fun with our, our fashion and our sense of color, and that really speaks to the fun that we have on stage as well. Oh, most definitely. So talking about the music, Faraday, it's fun, but it's also, I mean, it's girl power, too. Well, yeah, I mean, when we started this group, it was about solo singer-songwriters coming together. So we're actually songwriters, and so we bring kind of real talent, real uh, sass, <laughs> and we put it into a show so that it's both a beautiful show, but also something that's moving and authentic and a real experience. That's really what we what we focus on with the costumes and you know what our love for each other on stage it really comes across so people have an uplifting time and an experience that they can take home for years to come <laughs> <laughs> nothing like it for you taylor what is it about this girl band that really hooked you into it um it's the, the just the fun the energy and that we all kind of are encouraging each other and uplifting each other at the same time encouraging and uplifting other women and the community as well mm -hmm. Songwriting is really interesting because all of you have your own talents to bring to the table. Alexis, a little francophone, you know, <laughs> the French coming into the whole scene of it too as well, I think really enriches it and really I think it allows your music to reach a lot of people. Yeah, well, like Faraday said, it's about four women coming together to contribute what we're good at. We um, feed off each other's talents, we help each other grow, and that naturally um, spills itself over into songwriting. So when we do write, we, we write together as a group. Sometimes we um, show up with lyrics, sometimes it's music, sometimes it's both, and then we sit around each, um, each song together and kind of nitpick at it and make it better, and then it kind of turns into a thing that becomes distinctly Rosie and the Riveters. I wouldn't be able to perform any of these songs for my solo project, and I don't think anyone could in their own solo projects. So it really, it's cool that we have our own individual identities. We come together in order to create something that's really a holistic and uh, Rosie the Riveter flair. And I love it, Rosie and the Riveters. I mean, there's a history. There is an actual woman, right, that embodied women and power during World War II. That's right. Rosie the Riveter was the poster woman for the women's movement into the workforce during the Second World War. So she symbolized the women moving out of the home and traditional sort of jobs and then into the workforce. And then she also was sort of the symbol for women decided, who decided not to go back to the home after the men came home from fighting. So it's a little bit uh, pretty sassy. <laughs> it took a lot, of, a lot of guts. Well, I'll say, and that kind of spills off to what the group is all about too. I mean, you do a lot of contributing to support women's groups. Mm -hmm. One of the things we wanted to do was not just, you know, encourage ourselves or encourage our audience, was to do even more. And so the idea came what, to reinvest some of the profits from our merchandise, you know, our knickers or our soap <laughs> or our CD. Um, <laughs> into women's entrepreneurial projects around the world. So we use Kiva.org, and it's a microfinancing organization where, say there's a woman in Guatemala who wants to expand her farm. She's contributing to her community, and she needs $200 to expand her farm. Say she wants another goat, two goats. Um, and there's people around the world, like us, who actually loan her that money she can expand her farm, you know, give her better life to her kids, better life to her community, and then she pays us back, and we reinvest that money over and over and over. So now we've been able to contribute and invest over $5,000 in, in over 125 women's projects around the world. So it really has this growing momentum, and then, you know, we get to feel good about all the things that we sell from the stage. We like to say, when you buy our knickers, you're making a difference. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> and I guess, too, it's all the beauty about how all of you can multitask, right, mm -hmm. Taylor? Absolutely, yes. Um, most of us, all of us, actually, are musicians on our own, on the side as well. Um, and so Alexis plays the guitar most of the time, but it can be passed around as well. <laughs> <laughs> and so much fun, and I really think 
there's a closeness, there's a bond really between all of you. Yeah, we say uh, being in a band is like being married to three other people. Yeah. It's really like yeah. being in a relationship. We know um, how to respect each other when we're having just a bad day or when someone else is having a bad day and how to be there for each other and uh, develop really strong communication. I think a lot of bands experience this, not just Rosie and the Riveters mm -hmm. and the women that we are. Um, there's really this kind of bond that that develops itself when you're spending 24-7 with the same people for two weeks at a time, let me tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess to wrap this up, words of wisdom to young women out there and older women. I mean, you can sing and start a career at any age, but words of wisdom. I would say just don't be afraid to be who you are and what you love and see the strength that, that can uh, come from having other women as your allies. I think it's very easy to open a magazine and see how we can tear women down about their bodies or their clothes. Um, but it's really important to see women as, as your allies and as your greatest strength. Alexis? Just do it. If you have a dream, go for it. There's nothing stopping you. Just do it. Oh, Taylor. Yeah, em embrace who you are and, and share it with the world and that will encourage other people to do the same thing. And Faraday? Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> when one woman wins, we all win. <laughs> there they are, Rosie and the Riveters. Don't have a lot But when I spend I know I've got Something great Something grand <laughs> That I found At Sally
just about when you're going to the shore. I got a good gal on the other side. Baby, don't you wanna go? Said, no, I wouldn't be here today 